Okay, <clears throat> hello again guys. So today we will solve another let's defend alert. Uh, this time we'll deal with ransomware. Okay, so ransomware are very prevalent nowadays. It's very important to be ready to, to be equipped. How do you respond to ransomware events? So here we have a sample alert from let's defend. Okay, this is the host name. Notice here we are given the process name uh, in bold, the hash, the size. Actually, it is allowed, it's already here, all the clues. Okay, if you check the hint, uh, okay, you know why we can access log sometimes and we should understand why. Okay, so later uh, I will show you why if you're not familiar yet with handling mouse ransomware. Um, first thing to do, and let's, let's defend if you've been following along uh, previous uh, videos, you have to take ownership. Okay, and then you have to create a case. So this is training you. This platform is very great as it's training you how to be, how to do day-to-day uh, -day operations from monitoring and to the response. Okay, so we can now start playbook. Alright, and then uh, I highly recommend while doing this, do multiple tabs so you don't have to switch back and forth on this playbook flow. So we can now find the, op the alert here. Okay, and we can actually check related lags. So the first flow is define the threat indicator. So actually, this is already here, we can see a malicious process, right? But just to be sure, of course, let's search the network logs for any related activities. Okay, so notice here. Okay, notice the timestamp. The date seems very, fo very far off from the alert event here. So definitely, notice here in May 23, and then related Network logs are August 29 and April 4, so very far. And so definitely this the first option is not is not feasible choice. Okay, antivirus program malfunctioning. So okay, so let's search further. Uh, okay, copy. We will now search the endpoint logs. Okay, this is the endpoint. Check the browser history. Okay, that's weird. No agent installed. Command history. Hmm, I wonder why. Network connections. Process list. Okay, finally we have process list here. So we can read process list. Okay, this is the malicious process. We're only given MD5. Okay, but notice here we have WMIC also always worth checking what, what it's doing. Uh huh. So it's deleting the shadow copy and not showing a prompt. Okay, WB admin. Oh, deleting system state backup. It's also BSS admin deleting the shadows. Shadow, okay. And the BCD edit is disabling direct recovery options <clears throat> so now we definitely some malicious threat activity right so definitely we can choose this one the third option is the more applicable one unknown or expected service configured to launch automatically on system boot now click next okay is so the malware quarantined or clean so definitely it's not quarantined as we have seen the analyzed malware so you can copy the hash okay this is the quick and dirty way to analyze so we will start first uh, the open source threat intelligence or sandbox or hash lookup like virus total because the premises someone might already analyze the file ahead of us or encounter the malware so that's the same effort, same time. 
there's no use really in analyzing malware again that's been known to the security community so because time is of the essence in SOC when you're responding to incident there are SLAs SLOs to be met so here notice here okay many attribute it to as a ransomware right so be careful when you are detonating this on your analysis machine as much as possible use uh, Linux probably Remnox distro or sandbox okay online sandbox okay want to share the behavior we have seen this behavior before right oh WMSI shadow copy delete so it correlates with the endpoint activity right definitely this is malicious check if someone requested the C2 so recall in the log management we have not found any uh, near near uh, network event so we did not see any activity accessing c2 c2 ip so not accessed and the only artifact here is the hash okay relevant artifact is the hash you can actually found the hash okay you can start the comment oh, okay this is the malware hash okay click next the analysis node uh, we're actually here prepared right up for this so okay pressure we investigated what we have investigated the process evident exe indeed successfully executed on the machine because uh, being a ransomware it encrypted the machine thus we are able to retrieve any logs at all notice the command history the web history are unrecoverable or are not viewable at all due to the encryption we also show we also saw shadow copy recovery settings being disabled which really correlates or ties up to the ransomware behavior here right so that's it and we can now finish a playbook of course in the real world you have to isolate the infected machine and do a forensic copy of it to further analyze malware or any other suspicious activities okay so that's it and after that after all the mitigation steps are done in the real life we can now close the alert okay this is indeed a true positive okay and we're done Okay, you can also double check your answers here. Uh, that's the beauty of this platform. It shows you if you got each step correct and what you can what you can uh, do, probably do or miss. It shows you here editor's note. Yeah, because ab.exe is ransomware encrypted all files on the machine. There is no C2 address. But if we do a dynamic analysis, we can see how it is like. Okay. Okay, hope you enjoy guys.